Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to come across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer with the dialog box error that comes up, wt.exe. Windows cannot find wt.exe. Make sure you type the name correctly and then try again. So this stands for the Windows Terminal. So if you're having this issue, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and search for settings. Best match, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select apps. And then on the right side, underneath apps, you want to select installed apps. And then in the search apps field up at the top, you want to search for terminal. Best match, should come back with terminal. Go ahead and select the three dotted icon next to it and select advanced options. You want to scroll down underneath Reset. If the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select Repair. And then if you're sliding an issue, you can try selecting the second option here to actually reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select Reset. And then this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And then hopefully your issue has been resolved. One further thing we can try here is actually to reset the permissions of the Windows Apps folder. So just go ahead and open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best result should come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video. I want you to copy it and then go up the top bar of the Command Prompt window, right-click on it, select Edit and paste it in. Again, this will be in the description of my video, so go ahead and copy it and then paste it in. And before I hit enter, you can notice that there is a C drive. This is the drive where Windows is installed on my computer. If this is not where Windows is installed on your computer, you will need to change that letter. Maybe you want to paste it into a notepad file and then paste it into the command prompt if you had to make any changes in here. And then hit enter. Give that a moment. And then once that is done, go ahead and close out of here. You want to restart your computer one more time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.